ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to CoasterNet Update. We've got some breaking news tonight, this time out of Anaheim, California, where we've just learned that Disneyland is possibly adding a brand new Captain America attraction inside the park. Now, Dwayne, as it says here in the story, that this would be a shield toss attraction, uh, a mostly a VR experience, where you would have something on your on your forearm, on your wrist, um, that, that's that's a movable object, and you would throw or pretend like you are throwing a shield, just like Captain America does in the movies and the comic books. And there, there, then there would be different sensors throughout the room to show you in this VR environment how the shield would travel. There would be targets that you'd have to hit. Uh, you would earn points. Um, so overall, though, Dwayne, how, what do you think about this attraction? Good idea? Bad idea? An idea that is actually going to happen. I mean, at the end of the day, it's almost a rumor, right? Because didn't Bob Iger come out and say that he wasn't interested in all this VR stuff for Disney attractions? He, and it, he did. And so that, 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 like, all of a sudden, that's going to change? Now, is there some new technology that just wowed him to say, yes, I want that? Now, if it's true, that's something completely different, right? So now we've moved into a new technology. We've, got, we've had the VR. We've had the goggles. We've had the, the screens. And now we've got something that's going to be mounted to your arm. It says it's going to be like swivel like or it's going to like be a lever and it's going to go from one up, you know, from the top of your arm to the bottom. And so when you do it, it actually goes down the bar and then the sensors are going to pick it up and show you where you would have thrown that. Now that's very interesting. It's almost, I want to say, I don't want to say video game like, but almost I, like arcade game like. Where I was going to say that. Take yeah. something in an arcade style game and, and throw it or you know, almost like the, the Xbox, um, Connect and all that. If you have yeah. stuff connected to your body, like the golf swings when they do those for golf games, that's almost what it seems like to me. And if that's the technology, maybe it wowed Bob Iger to some extent. He says that's something that we need for this park. So maybe it's true. I don't know. And 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 I I don't know because like you said, it, like I I when I read this, I said the same exact thing. This sounds like something that you would find inside of like Disney Quest or something, not so much inside yeah. Disneyland. Uh, but we know Disney Quest is closing down in Orlando. Um, but but maybe maybe this will be an upcharge attraction inside Disneyland. I I know they usually don't do that sort of thing. Uh, maybe it's going to be a full blown attraction where the where there will be multiple rooms where you go in individually, you could maybe face off against somebody else. I don't know. Um, I, but, you, you know, the thing about it is that the only thing that makes me think that there are some legs to this is the fact that it's tied to Captain America. And we know Disneyland uh, does not have the same restrictions as Orlando does uh, because of the universal agreement and who owns what. And that's still really dicey down there anyway to try and figure out what, what they can do and who can do what. Uh, Disneyland has no such restrictions. They've just uh, installed the Guardians of the Galaxy overlay on Tower of Terror. And a lot of people have said that they liked it, even though the outside looks kind of hokey. Um, I, a lot of people have said the inside is actually kind of cool and works well with the Guardians theme. Uh, this would be another way to bring in, uh, you know, an interactive experience with uh, a Marvel character uh, of Captain America, maybe, you know, the, the preeminent Marvel character right next to Iron Man um, inside of inside the Marvel lore, especially the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So that's the only reason why I think they might be trying to explore different options, uh, that maybe this is a, a, a hold me over, that they're just going to do this, see how it works out. Uh, but I agree. I, I don't see Disney going in with the VR goggles on every single ride. Um, and every single dark ride, I think they want something more immersive than that. And maybe that's this. Maybe maybe this is the, maybe this is the compromise that that you're actually interacting with the environment and not just wearing goggles and putting it on your head. I, I don't know. Um, any final thoughts here on on this uh, Captain America story? Well, now that you said that, I think maybe Disney might just be capitalizing on the you know success of Marvel and all the comic books throughout the country and why people like it so much, try to capitalize on it, you know, try to figure out whatever way people, you can bring people into your park 
that it has something to do with comic books. If that brings people through the gates, then you might try and do something like this. And, and I'll tell you what, they'd be selling a lot more plastic shields on the way out of this experience. That's so, very true. <laughs> so there will definitely be a, a big uh, charge for that not on the way out, probably. Uh, but as always, thank you for joining us here on CoasterNet Update. We'll keep you updated on all the latest news and rumors. Right on, Ride Warriors.